South Korea's foreign minister met on Tuesday with the head of UNESCO, delivering Seoul's strong concerns over Japan's controversial push for UNESCO heritage status from mines that used Koreans for forced labor before and during World War II. As well as that meeting, Chang Yi Yong also discussed North Korea's nuclear issues with ministers from the Indo Pacific region and Europe. Yun Jung made reports. South Korea's Foreign Minister Chong Woo Young delivered strong concerns to the UNESCO chief regarding Japan's recent push to get its Sado mines, where Koreans were forced to labor during wartime, listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. He met UNESCO Secretary General Audrey Azoulay on Tuesday in Paris. Chong called for cooperation from UNESCO so that Japan can first fulfill its promise to honor Korean victims at other places that have been designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. According to Seoul's foreign ministry, the UNESCO chief said she understands the Korean government's concerns and promised to continue efforts on that issue. In 2015, Japan's Meiji era industrial sites, including Hashima Island, where Koreans were forcibly taken to work in coal mines, were designated as World Heritage Sites following Japan's promise to acknowledge its use of forced labor and honor the victims. But these pledges have yet to be carried out. They also discussed fostering cooperation between Korea and UNESCO, including Seoul's pledge to contribute some 5.5 million U.S. dollars to the rebuilding of Mosul monuments in Iraq over the course of three years. The South Korean minister also asked for support to get the DMZ listed as a UNESCO heritage site together with North Korea. The meeting came on the sidelines of the Indo-Pacific Foreign Ministers' Meeting in Paris, hosted by the EU and France on Tuesday, to discuss security, digital and global issues. Also discussed were North Korea's nuclear issues and efforts to bring them back to talks. There, Chong expressed concerns that historical issues between neighboring countries make regional cooperation difficult, adding that he wished countries would learn from reconciliation in Europe. The comment could be interpreted as referring to thorny Seoul-Tokyo ties stemming from unresolved historical issues, including wartime forced labor and sexual enslavement. Chong separately met his counterparts from several countries, including Sweden and Bulgaria, to enhance cooperation with Seoul. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.